Father Miguel Hidalgo. Hidalgo. Mm-hmm. He was, you can say, the pioneer of the the movement or the, I don't know if you could say revolution. Revolution, but, yeah. Um, of Mexico gaining their independence. I believe it was in 10 or 11 years ago before 1820. It was in 1810. 1810? Yeah. Okay, 1810, 1811. That's when he, I believe he's, he basically, uh, but he basically started going against, and I'll let you take over in a minute, against the Spanish. But uh, I guess I don't really know, and nobody ever is going to know how the Grito ever came about or what it's really, uh, there's no, there's no reading, there's no writing format yeah. of it, which is super interesting. A lot of people just kind of made their own thing and throughout history, I guess, is what it is now. But I must, you know, if I'm back <coughs> in fucking 1810, I'm just in my little campfire mm-hmm. talking about the talking shit about the Spanish, and he was a priest too. Yeah, so he's probably like, uh, this is the devil. Yeah, I mean, something Spain like that. Spain is the devil. Some shit like that, and he starts uh, basically yelling "Viva, Viva," and it became El Grito. So yeah, that's or how Crave the, Dolores. Yeah, that's how the Grito came about. Yeah. But I'll let you take over for the rest of the history of independence of Mexico. You got surprisingly, the fucking white, the white the fucking dude. white boy. Yeah. So yeah, in 1810, uh, father Hel is that his name? Hel did he go? Hel 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 Hidalgo. He started an army. So he rang the church. He rang the bell at his church. Fuck which, is, which is very, <laughs> it's very, very. The ringing of the bell at his church is very like. Uh, monumental or whatever because oh. that's it carries over into the day yeah. still so he rang the bell he's been like he's basically like fuck Spain basically we need to get away from Spain or yeah. whatever so in our independence yeah. yeah so he and he's a priest bro yeah which is so crazy. this is crazy but I also I also read he had two kids and maybe more <laughs> Okay, so he was a priest he who liked to not fuck. The, he wasn't the best. He uh, was he wasn't married to God like a priest yeah, should be. Yeah. We'll just say that. Because I was going to say quick, <clears throat> that, like, I was reading that he was like a Christian uh, priest, but he later got investigated for not being so Christian. You could say, yeah. So, but huh. you go ahead. Maybe well, that that's also might was, tie into what happened later yeah. on after. But uh, in eighteen ten, he came in, rang the bell at church. Told everybody who's like, hey, it's time to go against Spain. Like, it's time to get our independence. So, this man literally got an army of women, children, like basically his congregation and people in his community, women, children, uh, animals, livestock, grandparents to basically revolt against Spain. Mm-hmm. So, they obviously lost. And after they lost, he was... Def- well, he, he won a few battles. No, yeah. I mean, uh, ultimately, I'm just yeah. trying to, like, keep it... Well, he didn't lose. Huh? He didn't lose. Well, he, got- he made a decision. Oh, so I don't know about that part. Really? Uh-uh. So he was... Okay, so he won some battles, and he knew that there was troops, or the army was in, in Mexico City, and he made a decision not to fucking go after him. Probably smart. Well, they said that it was a mistake from the history. What I was reading, that it's a mistake. But his army consisted of like people who weren't trained. So you would think. I don't know, but yeah. reading for what I was reading, he made a bad technical technical decision. Yeah. So he basically backed out and he tried to retreat. And I think this is where you were going with whatever after happened after that. But he retreated. He didn't yeah. go. He didn't keep. Okay. Going. So he so he did this with all his untrained army people. Really. That's yeah. interesting. They were untrained. It was not an army. It was, was like, pe- it was people like normal mom. people, like kids, men, women, uh, grandparents, and livestock. Was and these it, what his army just was. decided to go after Spanish yeah, people? That's it. It was just that's, a literally a revolution. Well, you know how revolutions are typically like civilians yeah. who are trying to overthrow something. The government. So these are yeah. just civilians, like everyday civilians. So that's kind of badass. That's fucking badass. I would do that shit so fast. They're just story about these kids. Uh, but let me see if I can find it in a second. But keep going. Uh, so anyways, they did that. They failed. He obviously, he retreated or something, I guess. And then he got defrocked as priest. Mean? So defrocked oh, means you're taking over. Like you were not a priest anymore. Like yeah. basically the organization or whatever says, hey, you're not a priest. You yeah. didn't fulfill your duties or whatever. So they did that. And then they beheaded this motherfucker <laughs> With and the, put his head. Well, they beheaded him with some other guy that kind of 
uh, betrayed Spain, right? Or no? No. But he got beheaded with somebody. Else. I know you're talking about, but it, the guy you're thinking about got beheaded later. Oh, okay, after. Okay. Uh, but he got beheaded, and his head was displayed in Guanajuato. Is that what it's called? Guanajuato. Guanajuato. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else in his army was charged with um, uh, trying to. I forgot the name. Treason. Tre uh, no, it wasn't treason. It was something. It was like something that. like that, though. Yeah. But they all got charged for uh, for that, and eventually, I'm sure they probably got killed. But but. The story to that, they retreated, and he was trying to escape <coughs> the United States. He to got, the United States? And he got captured, and then he got... Uh, so he was like the first famous immigrant. Um, immigrant to Macon, because he didn't make it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm a little like, <clears throat> I feel some type of way, because I was telling you that this, he started the revolution... But then he tried to escape to the United States. I don't know if he had death threats or maybe he knew they were coming after him. Then Probably. that's understandable. But I was like, damn, dude, if you're ready to fight this war, you know, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. You decide to retreat and then you want to run away to the United States. But ultimately, it led to Mexico gaining their independence. I don't know too much about the second guy. Yeah, the the second guy was, Jose, he was part of the... Uh, what was his name? Jose, Jose Maria Morelos. Morelos. Uh, said that he want... What but I he was down. part of Hidalgo's army. Oh, he uh, took over after him, yeah. right? So after him, he took over in 1811. Because he won a few wars, too. Yeah. Hidalgo Battles. was like, that did not last long at all, like a year. Yeah, he got. And then this guy, he got beheaded. This guy took over. So Hidalgo's army, like I said, consisted of a lot of people who didn't know what the fuck they were doing. So what this guy did was he sent home everybody in the army that didn't have weapons or horses. Jose Morelos? Yeah. Okay. So he literally, he already knew the army. He was in the army. So he literally sent home everybody that didn't have weapons or horses. Yeah. Um, and then he did his thing. He was much more effective. He won a lot more battles and stuff, and he was a lot closer to getting their independence. But eventually, he was also captured and beheaded because they were still very untrained. I think, yeah. I don't think he retreated or anything. Oh, wow. He just met his match and was eventually yeah. beheaded. And then I don't know, I don't really know what happened between 1811 and 1821. Doesn't really give a lot of history. I think it was just Mexico was just under Spain and there was nobody yeah. that wanted to stand up. And then in 1821, Augustine de Iturbide. How do you say that in Spanish? Let me see, can I read it? Augustine de Uribe. Uribe de. It's IT. IT, oh. Yeah, I just fucked up the word. I T U R B I N E. Yeah, I don't know. Iturbe. I'm just going to say Iturbine. Iturbide. 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 That sounds good. Iturbide. So in 1821, after 11 years of Mexico basically giving up against Spain, this guy who was actually in the Spanish, he wasn't in the Spanish army, but he supported the Spanish army. Like he was a big supporter of the Spanish army, mm -hmm. which is Spain. So he switched sides to lead the Mexican revolution, um, the Mexican independence movement, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually he, uh, he seized control of Spain and got Mexico their independence and he put in place the plan of uh fuck it what it was called the plan of Iguada you what Iguada let me see it's I G U A L A oh Iguala plan of Iguala Iguala okay Iguala so that's what he did and it basically declared Mexico a monarchy mm -hmm. Whose religion was Roman Catholic. That's what the plan did. Yeah. And a monarchy, I'm sure you know what a monarchy is. I don't remember. It's basically where you have a president. I'm just giving it and I'm dumbing it down to like normal people terms. Yeah. Basically you have a president and that president is like Queen Elizabeth was oh, a monarch. Okay. She was ruler until she either died or it's called, um, it's called abdication. It's either until death or abdication, which abdication is basically until you're unfit unfit to fulfill your duties like, as a monarch, like too old or too sick, or you're just not doing it, so you get taken out. Yeah. Um, so eventually that fell apart because he, uh, he became the emperor and set up the monarchy, and then he spent, since oh, they're, yeah, they're a like new this. country, so that every new country gets a budget, whatever. Mm -hmm. So he spent almost the entire budget on lavish clothes and 
all this stuff Fucked to up. yeah to, so that's a big reason even though he's kind of the one that i guess gave mexico their independence because he led the final army mm-hmm. the final revolution which gave him their independence nobody gives him credit for it they give it to father miguel, hidalgo miguel hidalgo because he's the one who started the whole thing so this last guy they're like oh yeah you did a lot of work but fuck you yeah so well he was also spanish yeah oh yeah and that and the monarchy eventually fails and uh Mexico became, becomes a democratic mm. republic. Mexico's been corrupt since the since the days, bro. I'm saying, but the they set up a democratic republic led by Guadalupe Victoria, who became the first president, and Hidalgo is celebrated as the man who gave Mexico yeah. their independence because he's the one who got the ball rolling. And every September fifteenth, I thought it was sixteenth, but it's actually fifteenth. Fifteenth at eleven fifty. At eleven, yeah, sometime at eleven p.m. Uh, the president, whoever the president is of Mexico, rings that same exact church bell. I don't know if it's still a church. No, it's basically the... Uh, but it's the same bell. The White House of Mexico City. But it is the same bell. I read that. Okay. That's I don't know if they put the bell, took the bell and put it here, but they ring the same bell and give the same chant, which they don't know what, yeah. what that chant actually is, but they give a version of it every September 15th at 11 mm-hmm. something p.m. to celebrate. Their yeah, so which is kind of dope. Yesterday, yeah. last night. Yesterday, yeah. It's pretty cool, bro. They all get right there in Mexico City, and the president's there, and they have fireworks, and it's basically like a little festival that day. Like July 4th. Mm-hmm. Here. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. So yeah. it's pretty cool. I want to experience one of those over there. But yeah, that'd be, I don't want to go there. Yeah. I feel like that'd be crazy for not Mexicans. But it's crazy <clears throat> how they was beheading people, and it looks like they still be doing that now. <laughs> yeah, except for now they do it on like live, like... The cartels, yeah, man. the cartels and shit. Just take a machete. Yeah. <laughs> they learn from the roots, bro. Yeah, but beheading was also a big thing. Yeah, forever. back in the day, like, right? Yeah, they put so. you in that thing and just, and <laughs> bro, yeah. that that would probably really not as painful. Yeah, because after the first blow, you're probably like unconscious. Wait, you go one? I thought it was just one slice. Oh, I'm talking about now. Oh, like I, okay. You're talking about then. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about back then. It did just like then. Yeah, it's it's probably like it's the anxiety, the anticipation that's yeah. really the worst part. But then you're just instantly gone. Your head's gone, so yeah. I mean, you don't really. That's tough. Yeah, tough way to go. Yeah, sorry for yeah. Father Head Dalgo, whatever. Yeah, you gotta be at it, dude. Yeah, but hey, he's his name is remembered, and he didn't really do anything but ring a bell and say, "Let's do this." Well, I think. He did a lot. He's the one who stood up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He to stood up to Spain. And you know how people are. Like, you just need that one person to, yeah, to lead to the get way. It, yeah, to show everybody else that, hey. Because maybe a lot of people that. wanted to do that already. But they were scared. They were scared. And this motherfucker was a priest mm-hmm. and did it. I would have been like, oh, if he could do it, he's a pussy. He's a priest. Yeah, he's probably not about that He's not that even life. supposed to fight. Yeah, he's not about that life. Yeah, so but. that's probably why you got a bunch of old people and kids and yeah. animals. I don't know what he said to the animals. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird, bro. I don't know what you would do with the animals. And it said livestock. So, like, I mean, horses. I it's get like it. you ride horses. Yeah, it's like horses, like but sheep, livestock is like chickens, sheep, sheep cows, cows. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. did he do with sheep, bro? Fucking bait them, tacos <laughs> 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 for like eat them or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, I mean, that's a little bit of the uh, independence of Mexico, I which am, is not Cinco de Mayo. Yes, not Cinco de again, Mayo. I thought it was, but. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think on the comments below. See you on the next one.